Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing how to make a video player in Godot 4. The first thing we need to do is convert our mp4 file to an OGG file. You can do this by using the VLC media player on Windows. You can install it here. Next, open your VLC media player, go to media, convert and save, add, locate your video that you would like to use, and convert and save. You need to select OGG from this. You need to select where you would like it to go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in my actual game file. Going to press browse, enter in that, and now we'll go here. You need to delete this first part, this dot uh, MKV, and you can name it whatever you'd like. So I'll just name it video. So you need to make sure that there is no uh, ending in the file name. There could only be one right here. So make sure that's OGG, save, and press start. As you can see here, it will convert your video. Next, create a new 2D scene. I'll just call it main, save that. I'm gonna create a camera, 2D. And now I will also create a video player, a uh, video stream player, my bad. You need to create a new stream and you can add in your file here. You need to actually, uh, sorry, you need to type in the name. So if you do that and to test it, we can press autoplay. Now I'm going to drag it more to over on this side. If we press play, we can see here that our video plays in our editor. Now let's begin adding some controls. First off, I'm going to be adding a pause button. So I'm going to add a new button node, calling it pause. Now I'm going to make a new script in my main, or you can actually do it on your video player. You know, what? let's actually do it here since we can directly access it. We can delete the first parts. And if we connect our button down to the stream player, all we need to do is set pause to opposite of paused. This will, no matter what, get a, give us the opposite value. So our play and pause button will be in the same. You can, you can change that where you can have a separate play button, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing a toggle. Let's add a reference to our button so that way we can change the text of it stating if we are ready to play or pause. And now, if pause, btn.text, we'll get play, and else, btn text we'll get pause. So now, if we press play, press pause, it will prompt us to play, and if we press play, it will resume and it will also prompt us to pause. So as of right now, Godot does not support for seeking in video players, which essentially means you cannot fast forward them to a certain time. I will, however, show how to make a looping button. So if we add a button, call it loop, name it, loop, I'm going to scale it, and now I'm going to press button down, connect it. I need to add a variable called loop. I'm going to set this to false automatically, but you can decide not to. And here I will add a toggle. So loop gets not loop. And now that's actually all we need to do there. We now need to go to our video player, finished, connect. So this will trigger when the video is finished. And here, all we need to do is if loop. And as you can see here, at the end of this video, it will loop back to the beginning. All right, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm sorry that I couldn't cover all functionality since there are limitations to the Godot engine. But anyways, please like and subscribe. Thank you.